Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Collins and I'm a kidney transplant medical specialist working at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. I'm involved in a team of people that provide care to patients undergoing kidney transplantation when they have kidney failure. I'm also a clinical researcher interested in trying to improve the outcomes of kidney transplantation through the use of clinical trials. When a kidney transplant is performed, the kidney comes from an organ donor. That's a deceased person who's donated their organs after death. And through the process of organ donation, a kidney can be damaged such that it gets stunned. So from the time of period when it's out of the donor's body in cold storage or transported to a hospital before being put into a new recipient and functioning, the kidney sustains potential injury. And this injury can lead the kidney to not work immediately following the kidney transplant operation. This is a condition which we call delayed graft function. But more simply, this means that the kidney transplant recipient needs to continue to receive dialysis treatment to remain alive and healthy after the operation for a period of time. They need to continue this until the kidney transplant recovers. This problem affects around a third to a half of kidney transplant recipients who've had an organ donor transplant. When a patient experiences delay graft function, they need to continue to receive dialysis after their kidney transplant. This means that they will continue to remain in hospital for longer often. It complicates the recovery after the transplant surgery. It's uncomfortable for patients and it costs more money to the health system. We were interested in trying to discover whether there are simple things that you can do in the care of kidney transplant recipients that reduces the risk of delay graft function. Every kidney transplant recipient around the world needs to receive intravenous fluids during the time of their kidney transplant surgery. This is to keep them hydrated, to maintain their blood pressure, and ultimately to ensure that the new kidney functions effectively. We were interested in discovering whether the standard type of kidney transplant fluid, which is called normal saline and contains salt uh, in the form of sodium and chloride, was good, or whether a new type of IV fluid an alternative called plasmolite, which contains a better balance of salts, more similar to human plasma, would be more effective at reducing the risk of delay graft function after transplant. We conducted a trial called the Best Fluids Trial uh, at 16 hospitals in Australia and New Zealand and recruited 808 participants to this trial over three years. The whole trial took around four years because we followed people for, four, uh, for one year after transplant. And the trial was a randomized control trial. So we compared saline as the standard of care randomly with plasmolite in uh, all patients who received a deceased or organ donor transplant. We found in the best fluids trial that actually using plasmolite with this balanced salt solution reduce the risk of delayed graft function from four out of 10 or 40% to three out of 10 recipients of a deceased donor kidney transplant. A difference of 10% or a quarter of all recipients uh, who got delayed graft function were prevented with the plasmolite solution. After this trial, kidney transplant specialists around Australia and New Zealand are likely to change their practice to use balanced crystalloid or plasmolite as the standard IV fluid for all kidney transplant patients. We expect this will prevent one in 10 additional patients from needing to have di dialysis for delay graft function. Around the world, there are 100,000 or more kidney transplants performed each year. So the impact of this simple change in treatment is potentially significant.